Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Danica if you're new to my YouTube channel. I usually make this type of cooking content on my TikTok account but I really want to try out and make long form videos of me cooking in my kitchen here on YouTube so that's why this video is now up on my channel. I shared this recipe kind of video on my TikTok account and the video went absolutely crazy and I thought that I'll make a long form video here for you guys and just chat to you whilst I meal prep all of our lunches for this week. And because I'm cooking with chicken, I like to chop that up into two meal prepping times a week. So I meal prep for three lunches at a time. I hope that all makes sense. What you're going to need is Greek yogurt, chicken stock, cherry tomatoes, pesto, rice of your choice, and 500 grams of chicken chopped up. I also have six of these small, medium sized glass bowls. And a lot of people ask if you can actually bake or cook in them. And the answer is yes, you can. And they just fit so perfectly on this oven tray, which just satisfies me so much. Anyway. Let's get started. First things first, I add 12 tablespoons of rice into my strainer. And then I just rinse this. I forgot to mention this, but turn your oven on to 180 degrees and just let that warm up on the bake setting. The rice that I use for my meal prep is sushi rice. The next thing I add in is the chicken. Next, I'm going in with chicken stock and I just add a quarter of a cup into each bowl. I used the wrong measuring cup. It's a third cup of this in each bowl. Next, we're going in with some pesto and I just put a tablespoon of that into each bowl. Next is our trusty Greek yogurt. And I like to apply a tablespoon of that into each bowl. Now for the fun part, we just mix everything together. The pesto smells so good. Perfect. Now we take some cherry tomatoes, we give them a good wash, and we add about five cherry tomatoes into each bowl. You can do more if you want. I find that five is just like a good sweet spot. Don't forget to season with salt and pepper. The next thing we add is some grated cheese and this will just bake so nicely on top of this pesto bake. And I just grab a handful and chuck that on. But you can always do more depending on how much cheese you want on top. And there we go. Now we just put this in the oven and let it bake for about 40 minutes. Okay, there you have it. I just let them sit outside for a little bit to cool down. There we go. Three lunches ready for this week. Almost no dishes to clean after making this and so, so delicious. So I'm just going to put these in the fridge and that's basically the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in today and watching this cooking video. If you do like this type of content, please let me know in the comments and also feel free to check out the description box. I will be putting the recipe in there for you guys to follow along with some more instructions if you want this this is not one of my original recipes i found this recipe over on tiktok and when i made the video i credited the lady that designed or that came up with this recipe her name is krista pool on tiktok so make sure that you go and check out 
her channel because she's also got lots of meal prepping ideas. That's it for today's video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!